right, very good. And hopefully everybody's doing all right today. Um, we're not playing. I did get a 120 uh, stars in Super Mario 64 the other day because I was like, hey, I kind of want to play this. Well, I did it like at like four in the morning because I was like, I'll just get a few more. And then I kept playing until uh, until I had all um, 120, you know, normal. Something really quick. Okay. That For some reason, my captioner doesn't work behind OBS or Discord, but it works okay if it's behind my chat bot. And I don't understand it but as long as it's catching what I'm saying and actually like working I guess it doesn't really matter that much oh yeah R. Uh, actually might have more range of motion uh, standing up playing this so th uh, we'll see how this goes also let's go ahead and get some lives I think since I saved her she gives me 20 yeah but let her oh it's Luigi hi <clears throat> Bro, I got a star, but now I can't get back. This picture shows where I am. Help me! Hmm, where is that place? It looks familiar, but then again, it's the... It's the B place. Do a picture, press say yeah, and the letter icon. Okay, thanks. I'd rather have extra lives. Give me those extra lives. It says Peach. Okay. Five one-ups. I thought she gave me more. Maybe it's just when I get all the stars. Yeah, she's so thoughtful. Thanks. Okay, I'll, I'll come back later, I guess. Sorry. Um, actually, are there any comets in orbit? No comets. So I, I guess we'll go help out Luigi real quick. I do believe I need to be over here for... I think this is where the honey hive is. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully everybody's doing good today. We're at 82 out of 120, and uh, I have full confidence we'll we'll get over 100 for sure. Um, wait, this place is super completed. Why did I come over here? Anyway, I, okay, so maybe the Honey Hive Galaxy is in the first place. It's fine. Everything's fine. I just already forgot how to play this game. Actually, no. I, I've played this game way too many times. If I forgot how this works, then... I seriously have memory problems, or at least worse ones that I already have. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, because Honey Hive... Oh yeah, we need a comet in this. So, right after we get this star, there should be a comet, and I believe that's the purple comet for the coins, if I remember correctly. First, we need to help our bro out because he's doing Luigi things. Like, I love Luigi. I, I actually, I'm really sad that they, they kind of, they're kind of an asshole to Luigi. Like, in Origami King, you get trophies for various characters and things. And his trophy literally says that the only notable things about him are how high he jumps and the fact that he wears green and literally nothing else. And I'm like, man, that's, I don't know, guys. That's pretty rude. Luigi is a cool guy. He tries. Give him a chance. Okay, he was on a tree. Can't remember, uh, was over here. Uh, uh, there we go. Maybe he's on that tree. Luigi, uh, where are you? Hang on. Well, we'll find him. Don't, don't worry. Star bits. Oh wait, maybe he's on that tree. I think he's on that tree. Which I think I do need to be. Uh, Oh yeah, because I can wall jump up there. Okay. Bonk, bonk, bonk. God, you know what? That's one of the things. Because uh, I was playing Super Mario 64, and I love Super Mario 64, but it's not without its problems. And one of the problems that Super Mario 64 has is that wall jumping is awful in it. Like, 
There's just there's just no two ways about it. It's it's pretty bad. Uh, the timing is a little. It's kind of like playing like I really like Super Metroid, but um, like the wall jump for that, the timing can be a little sketchy, which they fixed in like later iterations. But you know, when you're playing, you're just like, wow, this this doesn't work as well as I remember it working. I don't really know why I'm in here, but I mean, more star bits are good, so I guess I'll just smash rocks for a while. How they're sticking to the walls, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I feel like I kind of understand gravity. Well, I mean, then again, this is a fictitious game, so... Oh! Wow! Well, it's a good thing I already literally smashed everything. Am I supposed to go out here with it? What am I, what am I doing here? What, what am I doing? You know, whatever! I do what I want. Please? Don't get on my case. Okay. So, okay. I, I think yeah, I guess we gotta go around. Yeah, he's on. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. He's on. Might be able to see him now. He's on that tree. Okay, so I do have to go up there. Don't worry, Luigi. I'm coming, bro. Uh, I, just, I just had to get my bee suit. You know how it go. Oh, yeah, I forget. You can't do the... You can't do, like, the backflips or anything when you're a bee because you just fly. Kind of sucks, because you can, you know, you can usually get a lot of air with those. Go down here. Ah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, see, uh, you can't even do the, like, the sideways jump, which is super helpful. That's okay. You know what? We're just going to grab these coins. Even though coins have no bearing in this game other than giving you extra lives. That's one of the things that they fixed in the second game, is that coins actually, like, do something in the second game, but... I really hope they do bring the second game to Switch, whether it's, like, a standalone or another collection type thing. Because, I mean, honestly, after playing the original one to death and then playing this, I can definitely see, like, the improvements, like, graphically and all of that. Like, obviously, they're not huge leaps and bounds, but it's enough that it, it just it looks overall better. Even playing through uh, Super Mario 64, I noticed it, too. Beans! You know, I was thinking about having beans. Or are we trying to have different beans? Also, hi, Sif. How are you doing? Because I made myself, like, a, a chicken wrap for lunch, and I was like, do I want to like, beans in this? But I didn't. God, I forgot this one. You actually have to go through the entire level to get. Luigi, why did you have to be in such a terrible place? Why did I get that coin? Okay, well, glad to hear. You're not, uh, you're not... Well, you said that you'd make your candy last. I was about to say, you're not lethargic from Halloween candy, are you? Because I've definitely done that before. Even when I'm like, I'll just have, like, one more. And then I, yeah... That usually doesn't end well. That's a terrible phrase. Because a lot of people don't actually only have one more. I think it's just to make us uh, feel better. I only had four pieces yesterday. That's that's some good willpower. I, I mean, I've been uh, trying to lose weight, so I've been eating like less and trying to work out more. But even then, my willpower is not great because I've still had pizza a couple of times. Even though I'm like... I probably shouldn't, and then I'm like, but it's super cheap, and I'm too lazy to cook, and then, yeah. But I haven't had pizza in at least two weeks now, so that's something. Yeah, okay, I get it, you're itchy. I'm gonna, let me grab the itchies. Stop talking to me. Oh God, why did I, why? Oh, please grab one. The itchies, yeah, excuse me, pardon me, come here, don't mind me. Oops. 
but usually like with candy, I just don't have it on hand. That's kind of like my one way of not eating it. Because if I have like a bag of candy, there it's it's one of those like kind of impulse things where you're like, oh, there's an open bag. I'll just take a little and a little. One of your best traits and worst traits. Oh. Yeah, you can rely on me later, I guess, big fuzzy clean lady. I'm gonna go over here. But I, I can see how that might be detrimental as well. Like, Okay, but we don't want the star. We wanna, we wanna fall down here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, this is so much slipping. Don't worry, Luigi, I'm coming! Bonk. You know, I think I could've gone up here if I went, like, a, a different way. Excuse me. Get off of there! Oh wait, I gotta... It's, oh, ow, ow, oh, hey, bro, yeah, you, you, you know, he didn't notice when I was a ghost, but he knows when I'm a bee, and I hit because of that big, scary bug, I found a power star, so let's go home, Ugh. good job, Luigi, <sighs> yeah. You know, I that's the thing, Sith. It's weird. I have like incredible willpower for some things, but not a lot for other things. I don't know. I, I mean, it. I guess that's a, that's the way it's supposed to be, rather than it just being completely unbalanced. But you know. Okay. There should be a comet now. Yeah, final comet. Ah, this is like the fucking Vody text I've gotten today. Holy shit, can it end? I already did my thing. Stop. Phone, I told you to report. I need to just make like vote a hot word to just, like, auto-ban. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Speaking of willpower, this wasn't really, I didn't really find this like a willpower thing. I guess it, other people have problems with it. You know what's, what I found like strange or, or somebody like commended me on and I'm like, isn't that just like a normal thing? Um, I had a friend, at least I heard spamming Twitch chats. But yeah, that's true. Although I have been getting way more notifications from Twitch. Um, about like where they're like watch this guy do this and I'm like I don't care about any like YouTube actually has been recommending way more than it ever has before so I don't know what exactly changed or if they're just like really trying to get people to watch sponsored channels or something anyway back to my story sorry I distracted myself um but um apparently it's weird because uh, I had a, a female friend over, and I have a king-sized bed, um, so we just slept on the same bed, like, but nothing happened, we're just friends, and I told somebody that, and they're like, wow, you're crazy, and I'm like, how, like, it's not, you can, did you know that you can, like, be, like, a couple feet away from, like, somebody of the opposite gender, and not, like, feel an overwhelming need to have sex with them or just yeah I, I don't understand it, it's it's another one of those things where where I, I think it's been ingrained in dudes where it's like you don't just have like a high sex drive all the time forever then obviously you're less of a dude or something and I'm like I don't know I don't understand that sentiment at all because uh, it's, not, it's not actually how that works But yeah, I, I, that was just like a weird thing. Cause I told somebody, and, and they were like, "You guys didn't do anything," and I'm like, "No, we were s we went to sleep. That's what we did in bed because beds are for sleeping." 
I mean, I could have slept on the couch, but that's still here, and the dogs get all up in the couch, and the couch is just... It's not a place that I really want to sit for very long. So, yeah. Basically, yeah. I mean... Because obviously, if there's somebody I'm actively interested in, and we're interested in doing that, then it's that's just gonna happen, like, on its own accord, not just from the act of going to bed. But, I don't know. People are weird. Anyway, um... Oh, purple points. I need to get those. I just thought that was something that I'd share with you guys. Fun times. But yeah, exactly. It's just like, oh? It's like, yeah. They, 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 no? It's like, that, that, that's not always, like, what... goes down to, but I don't know. I guess I just don't have, like, the frat boy mentality or something. As terrible as that sounds, that's pretty much what it is. And the thing is, like, I don't understand why people who are my age or older still act that way, because I'm like, you know, you've been around for a while, and you should understand this not actually how the world works. Well, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna go... This one's kind of annoying. I'm glad it's not time. But, yeah. oh god. Oh god. Sometimes that ends horribly, but that time it didn't. We're okay. Well, yeah. I mean, I learned that from working in retail. Like, that's probably where it's the worst. Because... Working in retail, like, well, I guess working at a lot of jobs, it, it basically nobody ever grew out of high school with, like, drama and rumors and shit. And I'm like, I just want to make money so I can live. I don't need all of this extra crap. I mean, I've had pl plenty of drama, like, just on Twitch, too, in the, like, three years I've streamed. Even, like, actively avoiding it, it's impossible because people li really like to embroil people in that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, oh, I don't got time for this, guys. I got bills to pay. Yeah, look at that. That's, that launch star really took me far. It, it didn't really take me that far. <sighs> It's weird. Like, I have female friends that I've been friends with for, like, years, but nothing's ever happened because it's not, like, really a requirement or anything. This way. Oh. And, uh, yeah, that's something I had talked about uh, with a friend on Facebook, actually. Um... Because it's one of those things where it's like, if a dude, like, acts normal or doesn't, like, give you unwanted advances or anything, or just, like, doesn't make you uncomfortable, you shouldn't say that, say that they're a rare breed, because somebody doing the absolute bare minimum doesn't really need to be praised for that. Like, as someone who's gotten that before, I'm like, it feels really weird because I'm like, I... Like, it's just, just being a normal person. I wouldn't think it's that hard, but apparently it's much harder than, uh, than people seem to think. Anyway, yeah, that, there's welcome to my TED Talk for today. I'm going to go get the rest of these points. Okay, here... these three, and then that one over there, and then the one back here. Oh, I think there's actually more than one. This might actually lead to the slidey part. I can't remember. Oh, uh, hello. Back there 
we go. Yeah, this leads to the sliding part. Okay. Also, coins over here. Right now. Yeah. I yeah. It's, it's just it's odd. It's a, it's a strange world. We fuck. Fuck. Wait, I can I can fix this. I fix this. Okay. <sighs> It sucks! History's so boring! Yeah. Anyway, um, I think I can use. I think there's a launch star. Uh, okay, anyway. I thought. I swear that there was a la launch star. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> no, it's too slippery! Oh, God. Boink. Okay. Uh, the, is this uh, the correct amount of slippery? Okay. Just the right amount of slippery. Okay, let's go. We got to get back up there and then go down the other side, and that should be all of the rest of the... I always get scared at this part, because sometimes on this part, Mario doesn't always grab onto that vine, and then you die, because he didn't touch the vine, that he needs to not fall into a horrible black hole times. But, so far, so good today. I don't remember what that even was. I think I fell into like a death hole, though. I mean, Mario's full of death holes. I guess it would be a lot easier if it wasn't. Or just places like this that are suspended in the sky um, and full of danger. Ugh. Oh. Uh, turn camera? Camera? You wanna, you wanna... Oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh. Good thing I did that because I forgot about these bad boys. Oh, and the slidey ones. Oh, and these will take me where I need to go. Oh, oh, so close. Give me my purple. Oh God, where are the last like ones? Where's the last two? Oh, there's one. I need one more. Maybe it's behind this. Are you behind this? It's not. Oh god, I'm missing one coin. Maybe it's behind that. Are you behind this? No? Where's the... What? Where's the final coin? Did I miss it? No. Oh no, I bet I always miss this one too. This is like one of those things. Uh, where the hell is it? I guess I guess we're just gonna go down here for now. Maybe. Let me check the back area. Wait, I think it's on the end of the swing. Call me crazy. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Okay, okay, that was. Less terrible than I thought it was gonna be. But yeah. Anyway, let's go! Boom, boom, ba da boom, boom! We got it. Okay, I think that this uh, galaxy is now complete. Or this room's complete. Yeah, save my game, please. Alright, very good. See guys, we're doing we're doing great. We're doing fine. Everything's okay. I don't see any issues. Hello, you're the one who shuffles stuff around. Let's see. 
yeah, terrace and fountain are both complete. I guess we should head to the kitchen? Yeah, let's head to the kitchen. Might as well do this in, like, sequential order, right? The comets always alternate. They'll be there, and then they won't, so we're gonna have to get, I guess, a secret star. So, um... Oh, they're both comets. Never mind. I can't go to the kitchen. I guess we're going to the bedroom. Unless the bedroom... Well, I still need like 30-ish more, so... We should be able to uh, find something in the bedroom. Yeah, I know it's the bedroom. I've been here plenty of times before. There's a bed in there. So it's obviously the room with the bed in it. The bedroom, as it were. I don't remember where this one is. I think it's a Luma. Well, thankfully it shows us the right star anyway, so it'll be okay, I guess. Let's, let's not worry too much about it, guys. It's probably like the first one. It's always the first one. The first one picks a bear for secret at that. Okay, well... Yes. What's the secrets here? I'll, I, I just know there's that shit-talking penguin there. Only an old man. Mario's only like 30-ish, I think. I don't actually know. Canonically, how old he is. Hey, old man, are you practicing how to skate too? Well, why don't we play a game? Can you catch me? Of course I can, you little jerk. Of course, I gave you a head start, because <laughs> I'm too good at skating. Aw, uh, look at him try to escape me. You can never escape your fate. Yeah, that's right. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like that, you might have a chance. A small chance, maybe, but a chance. Don't insult me, Junior. Okay, well, here we go. I don't remember where the heck the secret star is. Yeah. Baron Burr is over there. Oh, excuse me. Coming through. D -d 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 uh, I mean, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Because as much as I've played this game, there are still times when I don't quite remember exactly where everything's at. Because it's still 120 stars. That's a lot of things to remember. Oh, excuse me. Kick! Oh, wait, no. Kicking them there just makes them stronger. And the skating makes you fast. Ah! I fell into the ouchy water. It's okay. Everything's fine. Here with this secret. Star is at though. Oh! I, okay, good. Mm. I, oh, for the life of me, I cannot remember. Unless it's a. I don't think it's a Luigi one. I think it's just like. somewhere different. I mean, it's, it's fine. We'll figure it out. We always do. Get away from me, Ice Bat! I've got time for your shenanigans. 
Earthly Slide. Uh, Freaking no! Ah, the worst. You know, not today. No, 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 no. Oh, there's no coming back. Darn it! Why would you do this to me, game? Okay, we're well, dead. Fuck that bat. Well, I mean... Oh, it starts me off here! Oh, how nice of it, at least. So this is the frozen peak. So I'm actually going the right way, which is bad. Oh wait, maybe the secret star is, um... I think it might actually be on that little point you gotta jump off at. I think that bat... Crap, except I, I killed the bat, but I didn't stay lamey long enough. Well, it's fine. I think it's fine. So who's ready for Thanksgiving, the next major holiday? I would be spending it with my family, but unfortunately that's not happening because my family lives in Hawaii, and I believe Hawaii still has a mandatory two-week quarantine for anybody who lands uh, on the island. Which means, in order to spend time with my family, I would have to be in Hawaii for like three weeks. And two of those weeks, I'd be twiddling my thumbs in quarantine. So, decided that that probably wasn't the best idea. There's always next year. Although, I think Dez also extended the invitation to hang out with her on Thanksgiving. So we'll have to see how things go. Air fryer that fits a turkey. They sell pretty big ones, but you'd probably just have to get a smaller turkey at that point. I didn't fit shit, no! No! Oh, I hate that. I don't remember those being so fast. Fried turkey is so good. Like, probably one of my favorite things is, um, like, my, my favorite cut deli meat would have to be, like, um, fried chicken or fried turkey. Because they're just, they're so juicy. But I also don't get deli meats a whole lot because they tend to be not super cheap. But, you know, I haven't had a good sandwich in a long time. I should really... Get some good sandwich fixings. Get away from me! Got the impacts. Plus, I you know what? I would much rather uh, trust an air fryer than a turkey fryer. You know, people are pretty good at that. But there's still the possibility, if you're not careful, of just exploding the whole thing if you do not uh, pat down the outside correctly and make sure there's no like pockets for air to, you know, a, become explosive in, basically. Yeah, the whole process is terrifying. Like, it yields very good results, but if you do things wrong, you could possibly die. Well, I mean, you probably wouldn't die. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I hate everything. Okay, it's fine. Oh, I can't do that because the I got I yeeted myself all the way back to the previous area. Can I even? Okay, I can. Well, that's cool, I guess. Oh, boy. My bet is that the secret star isn't even over in this area. My luck. Jesus Christ! Bats are gone. Oh, I'm like, weren't they dead before? Holy shit! Holy fuck! I am gonna die just from stupid fucking bats. God damn, I don't remember them being like this fucking vicious. Oh man, I'm just not doing good at this today. 
Can you give me like a coin? I would love a coin. Fuck this bat! Get out of here, bitch! That is well, I gotta go back again. God, I gotta say, I mean I I understand why there's a timer, but it is also incredibly detrimental to parts like this where they're like, ah, speed, but also things are trying to kill you. Um, while you're attempting to do the shit that uh, we're trying to get you to do. Fuck this back! Okay, well, let's get back to the one area where if I die, I'll show up again. I can't believe I fell all the way back. Like, usually it's one of those things where if I eat fried turkey on Thanksgiving, it's because um, somebody else has made it. And they're like, do you want some fried turkey? And I'm all like, hell yeah, because I'm not going to make that myself. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, if I get hit, I'll die. Don't get hit. Okay. Oh, thank you. We're back up here again. Fuck this bat! Coin, please! Okay, I hear the star. We don't want that. We don't want that star. I believe there is a hungry Luma down there. Wait, wouldn't that star be not? Uh, uh, I thought the stars were grayed out. Like, I already got this one. Whee! I think there's a hungry Luma. Yeah. There, there's nothing here. There's nothing here! Where's the secret star? <laughs> what is it? Oh my gosh! Well, I'm, either way, I'm gonna die. I was trying to get back to the beginning. I might just need to... Return to the observatory, yeah. Okay, they'll let me leave even if I'm sliding. Where the fuck is the secret star here? Oh. Wait, maybe it's not... No, no, no. Dusty Dune also has one. Uh, I'm gonna like look this up because I cannot for the life of me remember. I don't wanna I don't wanna do this for like hours and then figure it out. Raise flame. It's starting to be found. Yeah. Oh, it's called Conquering the Summit. I was all the way over here. No, I already got that. The, I'm looking for the freaking secret, not the fuck, the regular one. Ah! Hey, what's going on, Eric? Got to press the blue back downstairs. Your parents said. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. Is conquering the summit the... Maybe, the, okay, you know what? I think that was the star. Was the one all, uh, but I thought I went up there already. Okay, I guess I was, the stars are like grayed out. So I, I did all that work. I got to the top and then I just bypassed the star. I guess. Or no? No, it's showing... Oh, because it's just showing... Okay, guys, I'm just a dumbass. Don't worry. Um, I got that star that I totally needed away from. Was the correct star uh, for the stage. So we're going to go and... Uh, we're going to go get it. Because <laughs> uh, that's the star that we need. 
Well, at, at least I'll have an easier time because it's fresh in my memory, the hell that I went through. Get over here, you dumb penguin child. All right. Bye, bye. Yeah. We're not even gonna waste our time with like extra stuff. We're just gonna get up there and get that star. That star. You should have known that like in every Mario game, if you get a star, it's like a blue color afterwards because you already got it and that one is not. So that means that I need to get it. So let's go get the freeze. Yeah, uh, here. All right, here we go. Don't worry, everything is a okay. No, 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 no. Aha! All right, let's do this. Kill some bats and snowmen. Should have known that when it said the freezing peaks of Baron Burr, it meant the fight against him rather than. Can you get like within a distance that I can actually murder you? Thank you. Flower. All right, everything's totally fine. Oh yeah, also, everybody, I forgot to mention this because I keep forgetting to mention it even though it's kind of important. Um, there will be no streams, um, or there won't be regular streams this next week. Oh man, I need to talk to Xyla. Well, I could probably still stream with Xyla. Um, but basically, uh, I don't know if you guys have heard of, of the 12 Days of Indie. Um, it's a charity event that goes on. Um, usually every year where a bunch of streamers stream various indie games or just other games and we, we work on a goal for, um, like a Tiltify goal. Oh God. For a specific charity. I'm sorry. I can't remember what charity is sponsored this year or if it's always the same one. But yeah, I'm going to be doing that for four days. Um, I think it's uh, Thursday through Sunday? Wait, wait. I should probably actually check that. Um, but yeah, I won't be able to to stream my regular time and then do that because though all of my streams for that are happening like in the middle of the night because I told them I'd take the night shift because not everybody has the um, has the endurance to do that I guess or they're not crazy enough to do it but yeah I'm gonna be playing uh, f uh, the game that I'm gonna play well, there's gonna be four. I asked for three out of four of my days to be the sponsored like indie titles. Um, the last day is on a Sunday, so I'm probably just gonna play Super Mario 64. I just have to make sure that I do not curse at all, which the last time I actually managed to do that, uh, you know, fairly easily, somehow. Probably doesn't seem like something I'm capable of, but I can do it when I really have to not. I mean, in normal conversation, I don't really curse that much anyway. It's mostly just on here. But... But I know, here. The three games I'm gonna be playing... Three indie titles. Because I asked for them, and they didn't say that they weren't available, so, um... I'm gonna be playing Raji, the Ancient Epic, The Shattering, and Summer and Mara. I chose Summer and Mara because it's apparently like a farming sim, and I'm like, hell yeah! Um, Raji, the Ancient Epic is like a um, adventure game, and then The Shattering is—it looks like it's gonna be kind of like Layers of Fear. So I was like, eh, I, mean, I might as well try it. 
Sandblast speedrun. Oh, I think this is the one where I have to, um, yeah, I have to go fast. Oh gosh, everything is really fast. And I have to butt smash. But yeah, I'm gonna be, that's, that's, uh, yeah. But yeah, they're all gonna be happening at like, <laughs> um, I think the earliest one is 12 p.m. EST, and that's Sunday. Um, which I think is like, I think that's like 2 a.m. my time, or 1 a.m. I can't remember how time zones work. I'm sorry. I'm just central time. Central time's weird, apparently. Yeah, haha! <laughs> Smash his head, speedrun strats, get out of here. But yeah, basically taking the graveyard shift, but it's fine. Actually, that means that I'll be, uh, I'll basically be streaming when Zunder and Arcee are actually, like, awake normally, I think. I don't know how early they're usually awake. Or when they sleep. It seems like, uh... I, it's really hard to tell. To be honest. I mean, I'm glad that they're here. But I, I also don't understand as well. My sleeping schedule is kind of weird, but I'm usually always up early. I just don't go to bed uh, very early. Like, I was up at uh, before 9 o'clock today. And I went to bed. Oh, I went to bed at like 1 ish. Well, I guess technically 2 because, you know, daylight savings time and all that. But where is the chest? The chest is here. Bonk! Got it! Frick! Sh sh shit! Whew! I didn't want to go all the way. Okay, cool. Oh, look! That was the last one, too! Look at me! I'm so good at things. Frick. Can I go this way? Like, they give you a, a decent amount of time, but it's still a little, uh, it's still a little bit of anxiety. But yeah, I'll make sure to, like, let people know that uh, that's what's going to be happening this week uh, in the Discord as well. Because I keep forgetting, because uh, I, I always think it's going to be, like, at the end of December, or not the end of December, at the end of November. But no, it's, like, November 4th through November um, 16th, or 3rd through 6th, something like that. Because it's 12 days. 12 days and many, many, many different streamers um, playing indie types. Oh, at least there aren't any horrible v vortexes. No! 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 Ah! Why? I was doing so good. Oh god, it, yeah, it starts you at the very beginning, because it's a speed run. Oh, sucks. But yeah, in case anybody's interested, that's going to be happening. And it happens on uh, Indy's channel, I'll make sure to link that later. Because uh, they're a partnered streamer, so they get the best bit rate, all that stuff. So everybody just kind of takes turns. Like, we all have the stream key, they just finish up, the next person starts up, and then it just kind of rotates. So... At least that's how it was when I did it a couple of years ago. I'm guessing it's still gonna be like that, just for like ease of access and stuff, other than like raiding random people, but I, I could also be wrong. I have to read up on that. It's, uh... But yeah. Bonk. Okay. Okay, I'm just, I just gotta keep going because I was like, where's the. Okay. I just gotta get the shell and get back. But yeah, um. 
I'm just letting you guys know that now because I realize that I'm going to be streaming like through um, my usual not streaming time and then on the, on the weekends. So. We should still be able to, to do Thursday movie night though because I don't stream until like like 2 or 3 a.m. or something like that. Um, so, so that'll still be a thing. In case anybody was wondering, it's every Thursday now at, at like 5 or 6 p.m., depending on how I'm feeling. And next week we're going to watch, I think we're going to watch like a couple of uh, martial arts films. Like, Panda really wants to see uh, Shaolin Soccer, which I've never seen. I'd heard of it before, but I mean, I, I'm open to new things. I mean, martial arts movies are always nice. really good. Oh, man. I cannot wait until we get into that. Okay. Camera, don't fail me now. How silly you'll like shout. Well, I love Kung Fu Hustle, so yeah. I guess I'm gonna like it then. Go. Oh god, Mario, please. Oh yeah, also people in chat, if you haven't seen Kung Fu Hustle, Definitely watch it. It's on Netflix. Um, it's you can watch it with English subtitles, but honestly, I feel like it it works much better in its original uh, language with uh, with subtitles. But it's very good. Highly recommend. Okay, I guess we'll do the the secret one for this one. Some big sandwiches. Nice job. Dez is currently making lots of pies and stuff, and I'm very excited. I'm sad that I couldn't be there to also cook with her, but it's okay. Yes! Aww. My friend just sent me some cute cat. I'm sorry, I, I got distracted by cat pictures, okay? Okay, yeah. I guess she was making stuff now, because she, Well, she's making, like, Halloween stuff, and she's also practicing pies. I should probably... You know, I have, like, bread stuff, and... and I really should make some pies. Too. Like, if anything... Pies are the one, like, sweets are the one thing that get eaten no matter what in this house. Like, my roommates won't usually eat the stuff that I make because they're kind of picky and they subsist mostly off of um, frozen dinners, pizzas, and, uh, like, just fast food, but... Hey! Happy Sunday to you too, Mom. How are you doing? Oops! I didn't want to throw that. I was just wanted to scratch my head. Oh well, he'll show up again. Sounds like bad health times. I mean, they're they're really skinny, but that just kind of like runs in their fit. Well, it runs in their family for now. Once they get older, I, I'm not so sure about that. But I'm not one to tell them how to live their lives. So if that's what they want to do, then, then that's that's what they're gonna. Oh, I have to touch the down one. I guess, you know, that makes a lot of sense. 
It's been pretty good. make it come back down because I can't reach all the way. Well, actually, can I jump up there? Did it. You're looking up. Have you not watched that, Mom? I thought you would have. Well, I mean, I guess it did come out in 2004. It's not like a... I, I don't know why. I thought it was older, but I think it's because it's kind of in the style of older um, like martial arts movies. But I, I guess it's more recent than, you know, like the original stuff. Oh, I need to, I forgot, this is where I need to uh, knock these bad boys around. Actually, isn't there a, is a Luma on here? I there was a Hungry Luma around here. But yeah, it's on Netflix, it's, it's good. It's, it's it's very campy and and a bit cheesy, but very good martial arts film overall. I mean, it, it's kind of like oh god, like Kung Pao is a little bit too stupid for me, honestly. Like I thought it was funny, but after a while, I was like, man, this is like just really laying it on thick. But but you're open to Chinese, film. yeah. It's good. I think you'd really like it. It's an American parody. Are you talking about um, Kung Pao? Because I think you're right. But yeah, it was just like, it came out in the same time as all of the rest of like the really stupid humor type films. Yeah. To be fair, I did like the scary movie series just because it was so over the top, like, dumb, but, um... Because that was, I know that's in that genre as well. But certain other ones, like, an, not another American, or, like, high school movie or whatever, teenage movie, I don't know, that was like, I was like, I don't know about that. Um, there's a, I need a secret. Where's the secret? I think I messed up. I think the secret was somewhere back there. Because I'm not seeing any. Oh. Well, now I'm just probably gonna die. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's definitely good stuff. Huh. Yeah, I I think I missed I think on the one of those planets I was supposed to go somewhere else. Yeah, some are just too much. That's the whole thing. That's like a lot of like the, the teen movies and stuff, I was like, eh, this is I don't know. I mean even the first scary movie was a little much. And that one was I think the only one that was rated R because there was like sex stuff in it, but like as a whole I like the Yeah, okay, so that that other star would have been happening. Well, there's but yeah, um, but definitely, like, I highly recommend that. Or the, uh, the, another thing that's on Netflix, if you're, if you're cool with, like, martial arts stuff, Mom, and I don't know if you've seen it, but all of the Ip Man series is very good. I mean, I even, like... Like, a lot of people don't call, well, okay, I guess I wouldn't say a lot of people don't, but like, like I really like Jackie Chan movies, even though, yeah, they're all like very campy and they're pretty much all comedies, but there's still a lot of really good like choreography and everything in there. You know, it's, it's good stuff. Little light and campy sounds great right now. Too much drama, yeah. Naturally, not personally. No, 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 no. I know what you mean. Like, especially this past week. Actually, I was complaining earlier because I got like, I've already gotten three texts today from Texas Democrats. And I'm like, I'm, I already did what I needed to do. Can you please just stop? Uh, 
first Ip Man movie is still the best, you think? Ah. I have to rewatch it. Like, like I said, I have all three of them on... I, I think I have, like, a three-pack and then the final one. But it's also not on Netflix, so I'm like, man, maybe one day... Maybe that's what we can do <laughs> next week, is we'll just... We'll just marathon... Well... I, I know Panda wants to see Challenge Sire. We should just like marathon all of the Ip Man movies. Like, there's a lot of really good movies out there. Okay, Sunbake Sand. There, there's a secret somewhere here. I gotta figure out where it's at. It's not there. Hungry Luma? Hungry Luma somewhere? Maybe? Wait, I think maybe the Hungry Luma's on the sand, guys. Yes! Yeah, exactly. Feels like ages only. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I, I voted pretty early on in uh, the early voting. So, yeah, it feels like forever ago. Uh... <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine. I didn't die. Uh... Uh, no, no, not worth it. Not worth it. At some point. Oh, yeah, no, the Raid Redemption is really good. Didn't they make a second one? Which I think was also the Raid something. Oh, God. Because, yeah, I watched that. That is really good. Lots of suspenseful moments in that one, for sure. I believe that there is a Hungry Luma in this tower somewhere. Retribution, it was good, but not as good as the first one. I, yeah, like, there was so much stuff in that movie where it's just like, holy crap. Speaking of, like, kind of, whew, did you ever watch, um, Battle Royale? I think that's the one where, like, the kids get like dropped off uh, at some like abandoned place and they basically just have to like murder each other. Saw it and read the book. Yeah. Oh, they even had a mo- gosh. I keep forgetting that a lot of these things have different adaptations. Are they skeletal? Yeah, they're skeletal uh, Koopas. So they, they, you, if you step on them, they get squished, but then they stand back up after a while, because, you know, you can't kill a ghost. Well, unless it's a boo, then you can kill them, but usually just by, like, bathing them in sunlight. Yeah, I, I thought that there was, uh, maybe it's somewhere else. There's a shelf. Uh, I already got that guy. Is the one I'm missing? No, oh, I think the one I'm missing is the one near the top. Pardon me, excuse me, sorry. Yeah, there's dry bones. There's technically, like, dry... They have, like, undead everything now. I'm not sure why they decided to go that route, but... You know, it's fine. But, yeah. And then these guys are from way back, like, from... I think they first appeared in the third game, actually. I, I don't remember there being dry bones in the uh, in the original game, unless it was like, unless it was just like a color swap type thing. Because I know they'd like to do that a lot in older games, just because they didn't really have that many uh, models, you know. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna go up here. <laughs> Is that a Halloween thing? Oh no, they're just. There's always been. Um, Dry bones and stuff in the Mario games. After a certain point, at least. The book was rough. Reading it was one of the few times you had to frequently put it aside. Cause, oh, oof. Well, I guess they, because, I mean, when you get that kind of stuff described to you, it's kind of like, um, it's probably like the difference between um, playing Corpse Party, like the visual novel, and reading all of the stuff, and watching the anime, which is kind of like, oh, okay, well, this happened in... I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Ow. Nope. Crap. Give me a life. Ooh, 
like actually reading the descriptions of things can be pretty bad. God, gravity's so weird. Please, please let me grab that coin. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you and your jiggly butt. Okay. Right, go, go, go. Okay, there we go. Secret star, get. But no, like a as the Mario series went on, they they added, they gradually just kind of added more and more like like spooky things. Because at first there were just boos, and then they were like, let's get some other stuff. And then they added um, dry bones, and then they just started adding a whole bunch of like they, they're the the way they say things are like dead is dry at the beginning, which is probably just like. A euphemism basically because you know when you're dead well you start off not so dry but then you dry up you know after a while isn't that fun to think about guys anyway um i'm gonna oh, drop that. i know i finally i started um the haunting of hill house uh last night I, I'm pretty sure I saw the first episode before, but I, I just don't remember when or where. But um, but that was that was good stuff. Like, oh. probably gonna watch more of it tonight because I forgot. It's one of those series on Netflix that's like 45 minutes per episode. No, no, you you dumb, you dumb son of a bitch! Please shoot, please shoot. Okay, cool. I can get it to. I can get it to do something. Okay. Now I can kill them because I am invincible and that makes me strong. Like, and apparently in the Haunting of Hill House, um, they have like a ghost hidden somewhere in every scene as well. So I was like trying to look for that, but I'm like, man, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just not very good at seeing these things. Please come out. Please come out. I don't want to do the shifty thing. Oh, there we go. Come on, come after me. Ow, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Okay, anyway, let's try that again. <laughs> Holy crap. What the fuck, Mario? <laughs> oh, okay, we're fine. Don't put it up there. Why would you put it up there? I'm right here. That's not where I am. Oh boy. I hope it comes, okay. It at least comes down with everything. I was like, I don't want to have to deal with these bullet bills. I am hurt real bad. There you go. But yeah. And I mean, I'm not really a fan of like scary movies, but there's a lot of, um, honestly, I like shows because they tend to be a little bit better at like suspense and stuff. And I really liked how, um, the Haunting of Hill House did stuff. I mean, obviously, you guys saw me play some scary games, and I mean, Resident Evil 7 doesn't really scare me. It startles me a bit, but also I've played the game enough that I don't get annoyed because I know the puzzles and everything. Um, but like, Blair Witch and Layers of Fear 2, I was like, these are okay games, but they're definitely not games like that I personally enjoy. Like, no offense to their creators because everybody likes different things. Like, not everybody likes Mario. That's fine. I just don't like a whole lot of horror games because a lot of, like, the beginning of Blair Witch is just kind of a pain in the butt because they're like, use the dog to find things. And the dog, like, never sniffed a path unless you got, like, within a certain distance. And I'm like, you're we're walking around, like, in these woods and everything looks the same. I don't know. And then the end dragged a lot. I mean, even even Dez said it, it dragged a lot for her, so I'm like, at least I'm not alone in that feeling. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
let's go to the engine room. Why not? I don't think I got all the stars. I don't even think I got, like, I think I basically got enough to get here. Yeah, I'm missing a bunch of stars. Uh, let's go to Toy Time. I like Toy Time Galaxy. Toy Time Galaxy is pretty cool. Yeah, and the problem is I don't have VR, so they can't really be as immersive as they're trying to be because I can't. Like, I just, I don't have a VR set. Like, I could see them working a lot better. Like, Resident Evil 7 to me is a lot scarier in VR because you're in, like, with headphones on. You've got the visor, everything. You know. Mario meets Mario. Oh yeah, I skipped that one. All systems are good. Yeah. But uh, but yeah. But I definitely, I really enjoyed that. Although playing Resident Evil 2, I was really annoyed because I felt like they just made the, I felt like they made the zombies like way beefier. Like I don't know. I, I felt like the game itself was just harder than before as well. And then I never got Resident Evil 3. Um, well, technically, I don't even own Resident Evil 2. I borrowed it from a friend. Um, the remaster. But the, the third remaster is, like, apparently really, really short. Like, you can beat that game in five hours. I think Dez did that. And I was like, man, that's super short. So if I ever played that, I'd probably also borrow that one. But... Oh, suspension. Yeah, true. Other oh, kind of boring. Like, I feel like I find Alien Isolation more enticing than Blair Witch, just because there's more going on, and it's kind of like a clear cut. Like, like a lot of the enemy in uh, Blair Witch is yourself, and honestly, part of the reason why I didn't enjoy Blair Witch very much is because the main character was like kind of a huge dick and I was like I can't really enjoy the game if I don't even like who I'm playing as you know that's the thing like I find more enjoyment in games if I can really like get behind like whoever I'm I'm supposed to be controlling and all that but like the entire time I was just like man this just keeps getting worse and worse like there, there weren't really any points in the story where I was like, oh, I can kind of, this guy's relatable, or this is, I, I can kind of understand. It was just a lot of being like, this guy really sucks. And I understand, like, the whole thing is it's 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 a telling, and it's, it's kind of showing how these people feel. Like, because, I mean, one of the main focuses in it is PTSD, you know? But... I also just can't relate to that, you know. I can I can empathize, but I've never had any of those symptoms or anything like that. So it's kind of like, he just looks like a fucking super asshole. You saw it streamed over 10 hours? Yeah. Are you talking about Blair Witch or Resident Evil 3? Like, Resident Evil 3, I think... Well, maybe it does finish it in 2. She... I, I can't remember if it was one or two streams. Maybe it might have just been two like kind of shorter streams that I was like, dang, I thought it would be a lot longer. But I think Resident Evil 2 was also fairly quick if you obviously know what you're doing or you don't shoot zombies in the head because that actually wastes bullets because it takes too many to kill them. You just shoot them in the leg and run away? Something? Oh. <sighs> Well, I mean, that's true, too. But if, if, a, if a game is, like, under a certain amount of time, I'm just like, I don't know if I can justify it. Especially if I don't even know if I'll replay it, you know? <laughs> Luigi's purple points. Oh, yeah, because we're going on giant Luigi. I'm sorry, there's cats! Oh. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. I'm sorry, I have to look.
as one of my friends, uh, like right next to where she lives, there's, oh, uh, there's like a little construction area and there's a cat with like eight kittens. Okay, anyway, sorry, kittens. I think it's some free DLC. Well, no, well, Resident Evil 3 didn't, um... What the hell was the thing that came with it? Because I think that was one of the things, is a lot of people were like, it's so short. But then they, they had that, um... God, the thing where somebody's a mastermind and everybody else is trying to get out. I think that was a package deal with Resident Evil 3. Um, yeah, the multiplayer beta. Beta. Theta. Goddamn. I can talk. But, um, I'm honestly not sure. Like, I saw some people, uh, like, V played it and enjoyed it, and a few people played it, and then it just kind of... It feels like it just... kind of died out. Oh, Phoenix Girl, welcome! How are you doing today? Hopefully you're well. Oh, God. But yeah, I I remember that being like a thing, and then it's just nobody's talked about it since. These were yeah, that was the whole thing was um when V was playing it, she was like yeah, certain masterminds were like way too strong. Um, oh god, I went the wrong way. I'm dead. <laughs> I died. It's okay. We're fine. But yes, welcome on in. I hope I hope you're doing well today. We're playing Mario, and I'm falling into the abyss. But it's okay. But yeah, I, I do hope that there's more like free DLC to go with it. Like, it's just such a short game. Like, and that's the thing. Like Resident Evil Seven. Well, I mean, it's kind of short if you like really speed run it. But they also had a whole lot of free DLC that came with it. That was that really added to the game. Um, like the blackjack one, or the one with Chris, or the other one that I need to play, uh, the end of Zoe. Like, there was a lot of stuff that they added onto there that you didn't have to pay for, which is really cool. But, um... I mean, I don't know if there was much in Resident Evil 3 other than, like, um, costumes and stuff. They're taking you somewhere? Wait, who's taking you somewhere? Do we need to call the authorities, uh, Phoenix Girl? Oh, your sister! Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's slightly less dangerous than strangers, I'd say. It's hard to tell with siblings. They really like to do things and sometimes put us in horrible situations for their amusement. No, like, oh, you had to go out to take photos. Oh, yeah. Were you taking photos? Um, did you take photos of your of your uh, Wednesday costume, or is it something else? I mean, I guess that would have had to been yesterday, because I'm pretty sure you're not still dressed up like that today. If you are, that's fine. It's normal. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. Save the game. Yes. Today you celebrate Day of the Dead. Oh, yeah! Oh, because that happens the day after we celebrate Halloween. I gotcha. Nice. Well, I hope that you have a good time with that. Like, one day I would like to go to Mexico and see, like, to see how that... Well, I don't know if it's disrespectful now that I think about it. Because you guys are honoring the dead. I'd just be some random white dude being like, Look at all the pretty stuff going on. So, I don't know. Today and tomorrow, today you can commemorate children, tomorrow adults. Oh, okay. You know, I actually, I did not know that. But now I do. It is pretty, yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like, sometimes it's hard to tell because I don't, 
you know, a lot of people like to just go places and take pictures and not think about, like, the actual meaning behind it. So I'm always a little, like, is it going to be okay if I want to, like, check stuff out? Because I think it's cool. You'll have fun. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I know. A lot of people are less curious and more, like, they treat it like a spectacle, basically. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Please don't kill me, giant cookies with chocolate. Let's find out what is taboo. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, <laughs> oh, never mind. You know, I don't want to talk about that here because it's bad, but basically, like, when influencers on Instagram like to take photos in places where they shouldn't be taking photos. Or selfies. <laughs> Which happens an awful lot, but... You have to keep respect more of the situation and celebrate. Yeah! No. I mean, I figure it would probably be similar to when I went to... Um, when I went to Japan. And there's places, you know, where it's cool to, like, take pictures and stuff. And then there's other places where you just kind of want to be... Just kind of quiet and just observe stuff. Fork! Fork! <laughs> it's a big hole! Okay, uh, 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 yeah. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Please! Oh god, let me go in that. Okay. Yeah, no, I gotcha. I mean, I it, and I figure it's, it's probably a very situational thing, too. Oh, oh, oh. I like to think that I've developed tact over the years, but sometimes I have to, I, I just gotta be careful. Depends on the place. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. That's, that's what I mean. Like, um... Because there are people that will go to places, you know, like, like, like there, there's certain places where obviously it's, it's okay to do so, and then more personal places where it's like, probably should. You remember you mentioning the bad selfies before? Yeah, exactly. Because sometimes people go to places and just be like, Ah, look, I'm here doing this. And it's like, oh, well, that's cool, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay. Everything's fine. Oh. Yep. Wrong button. Oh wait, what's down here? Oh, health! Oh, I think I remember this too. Excuse me. Like a reunion with family? Yeah, I don't know. That's why I figure me as an outsider, you know, obviously I don't... Well, I have... I think I still have family there. I have no idea where they live, really, uh, though. Honestly, like one of my grandparents, he came from there, and I think his ex-wife or I don't know if they or if they got divorced or if he just moved to America. It's hard to tell. I mean, I have family all over the place. You get anxious when you play this game. Oh no, no, understandable. Like I get anxious too. I'm just usually I'm pretty like ah, it's fine. But but there'll be times because. You know, Mario is a fun, cute game and all, but there's also lots of times where it's like, man, these are some really precarious situations. You know, like this, like jumping around on giant uh, children's flatware. You know, just normal stuff. Uh, excuse me. Okay, we made it. It's because your internet is weird. No, 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 no. You're fine. Well, I know we already discussed that before. It's it's funny. I talked to my friend because I was like, I met somebody else from Mexico who uh, who told me that yes, the internet problems and everything are terrible and are a thing that happen a lot. And, I, and she was like, awesome. Not that I didn't believe her or anything, but you know, when you hear it from more than one person, you're like, oh, dang, that's not cool. Yeah, I'm 
mean, I'll probably go visit at some point when, um, when Americans aren't seen as dangerous to other countries because of the fact that, you know, we've kind of, uh, done really bad with the entire situation at hand, but, you know, it's fine. Oh, this guy. Okay, I gotta get this for you. Darn it! I got hit by the lemon or whatever the hell that is. It kind of looks like a lemon. Oh, wait. No, they're gumballs. Electrified gumballs. Please, let me get on top of this mole! Ugh. Gotta, like, angle it right. There we go. Bonk. Ow, oh, and I touched the fire. That's cool, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, no, no, don't worry about it. I mean, I understand. Like, there'll be, there'll be sometimes where, uh, Anna, that's the one that I, I was talking about, she'll be there and she'll have to go into, like, audio-only mode because, uh, I went the wrong way. Because the internet will, like, trickle down so bad that she won't be able to, uh, to actually watch the stream. Which sucks! But yes. Like you said, I'm no longer allowed to complain about my own internet because, uh, it's much worse for other people. Uh, darn it, I touched the flame again. Why am I so bad at touching things with my butt? Oh god. Excuse me. Oh, please don't touch that. Okay. We're gonna grab that bad boy. I... Please. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. I don't I always... That's the thing is, like, I don't think I'm that great, but I guess it, it's one of those things where skill level is just kind of... It's whatever. Like, some people are pretty good at things, some people aren't, or some people just don't enjoy them. It, it's... funny how it is. I think part of, uh... What makes me good at these games is less that I'm really good at platforming, more that I'm just very stubborn. So I will keep playing after I die like a million times until I actually do it. Which is probably why, um... Probably why I'm also, like, <laughs> kind of bad at horror games. Because I'm very persistent, but I just get annoyed. We did it! Oh god, I gotta... Okay. <sighs> I just came out of nowhere. All right. Uh, let's go to, I guess, gold leaf. <laughs> ah! <sighs> okay. Cataquack to the skies. No, I hate those. Why? So sneezy. Here's something minor. Yes. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry. Ugh. I wanted to stop sneezing. Okay. Uh, Cataclac. Oh, I see them. They're over there. Oh, okay. Oh, they're smaller. It's okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to yell. 
Yeah, I'm just, uh, hello? Hello, camera? Camera? Ah! Everything's fine. I'm here now. Oh, uh... Thank you. I do what I can. Fly over here. Fly up here. Here. No! I ran into flight juice. Can I fly up here? I can! Aha! Okay. I don't know, it's weird, like, other game, like, I guess I get some anxiety from Mario games, like, I mean, I am staring into, like, an endless void of death right there, because it's space, and space is very large, vast, and not full of oxygen. That's only certain places. But I get more anxiety from, like, I don't even know, like, more decision-based games than I do Mario. Although I do get a lot of anxiety from classic Mario Bros, because classic Mario Bros is terrifying. Also, because I'm not uh, especially great at those specific ones. I still love them, but I'm not very good at them. Alright, up! Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. What, collectibles? I mean, I just need to get the rest of my, uh... I just need to get the rest of the stars. Got 30 more to go. There's a cataquack on here that I have to lead to... This side? To this side. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I gotta find where the heck he is. I think he's on this side. There, this side? Is he in the box? I wonder if he's in the box. <sighs> oh, there he is. He's sleeping. Oh, thanks, I guess. Follow me! Oh, never mind, that's a dead end. Don't follow me. Okay, now follow me. Come on. <laughs> oh, he's so fast for something. Well, I guess I only have two legs. But, you know what I mean. Dude, come on. Mario. Mario, go this way. Mario, I... Mario, why are you not going the direction that I'm pressing? Please. What? No, I... D Hello? Get over here. Okay, you, asshole, over here. Actually, no, that leads nowhere. God, I hate this. <laughs> Fucking, it can totally step over those with his big, stupid feet. Don't lie to me, game. Yeah, this way. Yeah, this way. Okay, hoist to me. God, this is so precarious and weird. Please, just let me... Okay, let me gravity. Please stop. Please stop. Please get away. Please get away. There we go. Okay, that was actually way easier. Now we gotta get up to the star. Okay, I thought that was going to do more than that. Oh, 
Never mind. Okay. Um. Thanks, I, I guess. I'm trying to get rid of mole bros. Get out of here. Oh, they, they can shoot rocks over the side. That's cool, I guess. Not quite. Okay, I gotta get him over here. Come on! Take me up this giant Jenga thing. Thanks. But yeah, hopefully everybody is still doing good today. Things are going well here. You know, other than the few deaths that have happened. But it's okay. You know what? It's really not a Mario game unless you die a horrible, painful death a few times, right? <laughs> I mean, unless you're one of those people that does, like, no damage runs, but that's, that stuff's crazy. Doom, doom. Huh. Come to me, star! Aha! To look at the baked goods. No price sure. uh, All right, save your game. Game has been saved. All right. Uh, what time is it? Four o'clock. One more. Go ahead and get this gold leaf out. And then I believe that there is um, a purple coin mission here too. Maybe it's something else. We need to get... When it rains, it pours. I don't like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, I think this is where we put, because uh, we got to get past the rainy clouds. Because if bees get wet, they apparently stop being bees or something. Yes. According to Mario. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like, I just feel myself kind of like leaning back and forth. I'll be okay, I promise. I used to work at Walmart. I'm used to standing up for hours at a time. I was trying to be a little bit healthier. Okay, yeah. Go. Never mind. Okay. Whoa, I almost scooted to my death. Okay, that's not gonna work. So we go this way. Because I forget, this is literally just a mirrored um, version of the first B place. But I think the queen also does not exist here. But yeah, if you get wet, you turn into not be Mario. And that's bad, because if you're not B Mario, you're not light enough to land on flowers, which, you know, makes sense, I guess. You gotta lay off the, uh... gotta lay off the pasta, bro. Okay, there we go. And then, you ride the cloud. As you know, bees stand on clouds. Um, totally fine. Scientific fact. Um, I mean, Nintendo did their research, obviously, before uh, making this game. There's no way that they wouldn't use some kind of weird pseudoscience. That would just be unethical. No possible way that they do that. Now I have to hide from the clouds, because uh, otherwise I'll become regular Mario. That sucks. Oh, 
So now we can ride the cloud. Oh god. Okay, we're fine. Everything's camera. Everything's fine. See, everything's going up. I think this will actually take us, yep, to the top. Now I gotta butt slam him. Bonk. Yeah, take that, you jerk. Oh no, I have to hit the button again. Actually, I think I can. Hell yeah! Who needs to hit that button? Too good at video games. Yeah, okay, you get mad. Yeah, yeah. Get fucked, mole man. Anyway, there you go. I guess I could have done that from the beginning, but I was gonna, I was trying to do it the normal way. Good job. Bank. Oh, wait. I think I might have um a comet there now. Let us see. Comet! Blue Comet! Yeah, Blue Comet. Shadow Mario Comet. Because I have to get up and around and to the thing before he does or I'll die. I hope that made any kind of sense. Cosmic Mario Forest Race. Yeah, there's the star. We gotta get there before him. Yeah. Away from me, you jerk. Oh god, he's being me real bad, guys, but that's okay. Ha-ha! Ah! I win! You jerk. Okay, that could have been bad. But it's okay, we made it through. Everything's fine. 93? 94? 93. I keep forgetting how many stars I have. There's, we have a lot. It's okay. That's really what matters. It's been safe. Oh, there's another. Okay, well, I guess it's to the sea slide. I was just double checking something. Faster than a speeding penguin? Oh, yeah. I am faster than a penguin. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, this is the penguin race. Oh, uh, let's talk to the one with the hair. We've got a penguin race starting here soon. Want in? Sure. All right, this race is on. Okay. 
You know he's the fast one because he's red and he also has hair. Ah, frick, frick. Frick. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, that penguin is very slow, but so am I. Gotta keep going. I might lose. <laughs> Oh, there was a speed ring on the left side. I thought about that. So fast. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah! You jerk. Huh, okay, so they actually give you a lot of they give you a lot of time. That's good. I think once we pass Yeah, that thingy again. That's the goal! We did it! Take that, you dirty penguin! Very good. Oh, 118, 61, nice! Here's your gold medal, champ. Thanks. I earned it. Feels like there's still like something in your nose. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Look at that, we're almost to a hundred. Okay, very close. A hungry Luma appeared. I'll worry about him later. We gotta get that other comet. This is the purple coin comet. I believe this one is actually a time game. Because I think I'm going on the same path that I was chasing um, Galaxy Mario, except I'm getting purple coins. Yep, okay. I believe I only have like three minutes, 300 seconds. Oh, three minutes and 30 seconds. I guess 300 seconds would be an awful lot of time, huh? You know what? I think I... You know what would be a good game for me to play, I think? Um... I should get, uh... What the hell is it called? Drawn to Life? I mean, I want to practice art stuff anyway, and you don't really need to be, like, good at drawing to play Drawn to Life. You just have to draw stuff. I think that could be a fun game. Because I think that's also on Steam. No! <laughs> anyway, um, let's go back in there again. Oh no, I left! Oh wait, the comet's still there, okay. That's good at least. something I have to look at, because I think that usually goes on sale a lot. I think it's just normally cheap, but, you know. Alright. Um, there we go. Let's not fall down this time. Oh, come on. Mario, you were supposed to turn on a dime, not 
Ugh. Don't like when he walks up in like a wide circle. This is not a good place for that Mario. <laughs> it's okay. Everything's fine. We're halfway there. We've only used a minute and a bit because we got kind of stuck. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Go, 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 go. Whew. I think one of the reasons why, like, Mario games make me more anxious, like, with the older titles is because they always, like, the music speeds up when you start running low on time and then you're, like, freaking out. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Oh, yeah, this horrible thing. Thanks. Uh... Bonk. Plenty of time to get ten. <laughs> oh, whoa, okay. We did it. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Dixies? Welcome. Ninety-five. So we got the comet done. Let's go ahead and get the last regular one. This guy. I forget what the secret is in the other one. The silver star. Oh, the silver stars. This one takes forever just because they're all like spread out over the whole island. There's only five, but this island is kind of big. Yeah, you see them all like all over the place. There's one right there. Glad to hear it. Wow. Yeah, green shells go super slow compared to red shells. Uh, hello? Mario, why are you not climbing tree? Oh, because that's what you got. Up, 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 up. He's fine. Oh, yeah, there's a hungry limo there. I don't know how many um, thingies he wants, though. Hey, yeah, yeah, you gotta taste the Starburst if you match Starburst. I'll be starting up. Yes, I'm 40. Oh, I've got half of that. Have half of that. Uh, I'll find you more, large friend. He's floating 
healing thingies are pretty cool. Very unstable, though. Well, I know where the secrets are. You know, we're, we're gonna worry about getting the silver stars, because that that's more of a pain in the butt. Hi. Well, he's so angry. Why are you so angry? Thanks. Excuse me. I need this. Oh, can I not pick that up as me? Okay. Well, as a, as a B, I should say. Okay, time to get wet. If B Mario can't pick up shells or something. Yep. Yeah, no, that game is really, really good. Um, I'm actually going to be playing, you know, that's something I was saying earlier uh, in the channel, uh, Dixies. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to watch. It'll be, like, morning your time. But um, this coming week, actually, I am going to be uh, streaming for the 12 Days of Indie. Uh, and I'm going to be playing a few indie titles for that. But, um, but yeah, no, like, that one was really good. And you saw most of my playthrough of, uh, of Dream Daddy, right? Like, that, that was another one. But the KFC one was, like, so crazy over the top. Like, that was just, I was not, I did not know what to expect with that. Because, honestly, a lot of games I played, I've either played before, or I've never played before, and they're like horror titles and stuff that, oops. Sorry, Koopa. I wasn't trying to check you. But yeah, like that, that one was a whole lot of fun. I, I just don't play a lot of indie games because I have so many like other titles that I need to play that I, I just haven't like put time aside for them, basically. We'll see. Like, during the 12 Days of Indie, I'm going to play a few indie games, and then I'm going to finish off with uh, Super Mario 64 on my last slot. So, Because, I mean, why the heck not? It's Super Mario 64, man. It's good. Good stuff. I just have to, I just have to not, uh, just have to not, like, curse it's for the kids, man. It's for the kids. Which I've done before. I, I did 12 Days of Indie a couple years back. Um, but yeah. Like a trolley. Yeah. And I mean, I, it, I think it, it really honestly was a trolley game. But it but like you said, it's just like the writing and everything was so good and bad. Stop jumping, Mario! Just swim! Like, I really like the, the writing of Dream Daddy, but yeah. There were a few times where it was just kind of like, hmm. Okay, yeah, that. Oh, sorry. Hey, honeybees can ride clouds! That's cool! Can you give me... A B power, please? See, that'll deposit me over here. So I can grab this last star, but I, it's not gonna matter because I still need two. Thanks. There's all kinds of hubbub in the sea slide. What's going on? I don't know, man. What is going on? I would like to ride Cloud, please. Oh, yes, okay. Front page, you're playing some sort of boot like Minecraft game? Yeah, um, it was like Dungeons of something or other. I know what you're talking about. Um, I don't know. 
Uh, the ones I'm gonna be playing is I'm gonna be playing one that's kind of like Layers of Fear, it looks like. One that's like a, an action adventure game, and another one that's a farming sim called uh, um, Summer in Mara or something like that. So, and those were ones that I picked myself because I was like, these seem like things that I'd probably like. So let's do this. But thankfully, like the last day I play is on Sunday, so I was like, shit, if it's on Sunday. I might as well still do my own like Super Mario Sunday thing. I mean, if I'm playing three sponsor games, that's still pretty good. I'm actually surprised that I'm on for three days. I don't know. I mean, it, they're only like uh, three to four hour slots. But... Excuse me, coming through, flying. Hell yeah. Bonk. Right, now I just gotta get over there. Which, just dip my feet a little. Hello, dip. And that. I met a lot of people through the 12 Days of Indie. It's kind of funny. Like, uh, I'm in their Discord again, and it's like, man, I recognize a lot of these people from a few years ago. And there's some new people, too. But, yeah. <laughs> the sad thing is a couple of people in there are very much gunning on this, like, basically as their chance to make it big. But, I mean, it's the 12 Days of Indie. You know, a lot of people are there mostly for the charity. Like, you, you might get some new viewers from there, but... You know, nobody's gonna become famous overnight just from being on there, you know. It, it's definitely good exposure. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's nice to, like, hang out there and all that, but... I'm just doing it because I'm like, hey! It's nice to, like, do stuff for a cause and all that. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. When did I get sponsored? Oh, well, I'm not, like, sponsored. It's just, uh, it's an event that happens, um, each year. And I buy, I, I, I forewent it last year because, um, I was with the stream team, and then we all ended up, it, it ended up kind of, like, breaking down because of some drama that happened. I wasn't even there for when it happened, but I kind of distanced myself from some stuff. Um, I think I had an invite to do it last year, but I was just kind of like, eh, no. Nah. But this year, I'm like, you know what? I might as well. I mean, it's not really a sponsorship. It's more of just me, like, being able to uh, be a part of, like, the charity and everything. Speaking of which, I have to figure out, um... I have to figure out donation stuff, like goals and things. I think one of the donation things I'll have is me drawing, like, a random picture, maybe. Like, a, a small doodle. Maybe I'll think of, like, bigger goals. You missed a lot of weight. No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> I've been talking about all kinds of things, so. The Dungeons of Nehulbeck? Is it? Maybe. I, uh... I, I can't remember. I really, it, it was like Dungeons of something, or, or was it like Dungeons of Moria or something like that? Oh God, I can't remember what it was called. Oh, phone, it would be really cool if you were, like if you would respond to things I do like right away. Hello! Google! Jesus fucking Christ! Like, sometimes, like, my phone isn't terrible, but holy shit, um... Uh... 
Wait, no, Dungeon of Moria looks, that looks like an 8-bit thing. Oh, that's more. I don't remember. It's in my Steam library, so I can look it up. Daggeroth? That sounds like something that would be in, like, like an Elder Scrolls expansion or something. I don't know. I played that, and I played, um, and I played something called Cat Quest, which was actually really cute, and I need to play and finish that, because that was fun. I think there's even Cat Quest 2 that's either out or it's coming out, but it sounds, it's exactly what it sounds like. You're a cat, and you get a sword, and you start, like, just questing around the world, you know, and helping people. And learning magic? Yeah, normal cat things. I mean, technically, I've got the, the Discord message that has the limit. was free. The other one I played something called I played Cat Quest. I played whatever that Dungeons game was. And um I played something called Valtherian Arc, which I chose because it's very anime. <laughs> you go on like little missions with people and you're also is a school. You're building a school. The, the school thing is is very common. Wait, there is Cat Quest 2? I gotta get, I gotta get on Cat Quest 2. Because the original Cat Quest was a lot of fun and I didn't even beat it. I just, I played it for indie and then I kinda, it was one of those like, I got it and then forgot it kinda. Which is sad because it's a good game. Oh god, I fell in the water. But, uh, I mean, sometimes it's just how it is. You just get caught up with life. But yeah, I remember when I was playing it, they were, the devs were in the chat. Usually the devs of the games are in the chat when their game's being played, if they can be. Um, but yeah, I remember they were very excited because I was super excited. And one of my um, donation things, I think like for $10, I I added like, yeah, to the end of something I said, like for five minutes. Or maybe I added Master. I can't remember. I just remember it being, like, some people loved it, and some people were like, I don't know how to feel about this. And I'm like, well, you're going to have to listen to me do this for five more minutes because somebody wanted it. Yeah. Cat Quest 2. It was just fun because it was so, like, random, you know? I can't even bop things with my head. These suck. I actually know. Well, I mean, they do. Nectar out of plants to turn into delicious honey. Always make sure to thank bees. They make honey. But, uh, hornets? Fuck hornets. Hornets suck. As you yellow jackets. Those guys are just angry for no reason. What do they give us? Pain. They don't give us honey. They're awful. They're important to the ecosystem still somehow. Probably because, like, other things eat them. It's very strange. It's like mosquitoes. Mosquitoes suck, but we need them for some reason or another. Yeah, the Cat Quest game. I kind of want to play that. Now. Maybe I'll play that um, another day as well. That's the thing. I want to stream so much, but I know if I stream too much, I'm just going to burn myself out. But there's also like a million games, and then there's always new games coming out. So it's like, it's a pain in the ass, you know? Balance. I mean, there's plenty of games I could play like for YouTube, but I feel like Cat Quest would do a lot better, like, live.
is obviously audience audience retention between like Twitch and YouTube is pretty sparse. Like people watch Twitch for a very specific reason, and people watch YouTube for a very specific reason. They don't always watch both. At least of like the same person. Like like when Game Grumps are live, I usually don't watch them very much. Well, usually cuz they're also live at like random times, so I don't always know. But like their stuff is stuff that I can watch like anytime like you know, on YouTube. Like, there's plenty of people that watch me on here that probably have seen zero of my YouTube videos, which is okay, because a lot of my YouTube videos are... Yeah, oh, God. Are just, um... Oh, God. It's just VODs uploaded, you know? I do have some other stuff on there, too, which I'm trying to work on. I even have a TikTok. Did I tell you guys that on stream? I don't think I did. I, I do have a TikTok. Um, like, at first I thought TikTok was just cringy bullshit, um, but that's only 90% of TikTok. 10% uh, of TikTok is actually pretty cool creative stuff. Under the layers of cringy bullshit, but that's just kind of how it goes. I mean, sometimes you gotta peel back the layers, you know? of bullshit, and then you come across, like, a gold nugget or something. I think that's how the saying goes. Food from any species, hell, filter. Detritus for plant life to thrive, pollinate- They pollinate flowers? Even affecting- How do they pollinate flowers when they're eating us, alive? Maybe they do other stuff in their off time. Well, Actually, isn't it only the female mosquitoes that uh, drink blood or something? I seem to remember that being a thing. Like, it's only one uh, gender that actually does that. Maybe that's the whole thing. Hey, Arcee, what's going on? Welcome. I saw Zunder earlier. How are you doing today? Oh, oh God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Cause yeah, they're trying to, they try to suck the blood. Like vampires at least are cool and stuff. Mosquitoes, not so cool. They just, they just suck your blood and they're rude about it. And they also have like, the worst sounding buzz. Like that high pitched, horrible whine. Like, come on, man. Oh, hi, Zunder. Oh, no, no. I, I, I seem to remember you. Um. I seem to remember you being here at the beginning of stream? Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Sometimes my days run together. But uh, since you both are here, you might have heard me say this. Um. But I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be streaming uh, on the 12 days of indie, so I won't have my regular stream schedule uh, next weekend. But that means that I'll actually be like kind of on your guys' time. At least I'll, I'll be on like in the morning your time, because all of the times that I'm going to be streaming for 12 days of indie uh, are going to be like the middle of the night my time. Maybe something else. You missed the notification. Oh, okay. I just know you're usually one of the first people to pipe up in chat, so I'm like, haha, Zonder. Do you still get your weekly dose of Phoenix right this weekend? Yeah, I'm sorry, RC, earlier. You know, it was you. It was you, RC. You were the one who were in here. You and Zonder are two different people. But, um. Wait, let me check my schedule again. Because I usually stream early on the events. We can actually. So, from the looks of it, for the 12 days of it, you guys can hear me. Still hear me. I'm going to be streaming Wednesday and Thursday. This week. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can do. I can do Saturday, um, but I'm gonna be streaming Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, Wednesday at 2 a.m. EST, 
Thursday at 2 a.m. Um, and then Monday the 9th will be 10 p.m. EST. That's my earliest one. And then Sunday I'll be streaming at midnight. Okay, never mind. Um, we're good this weekend. I'm sorry, everyone. I apparently don't know how to read. No, no, there's going to be Phoenix Wright. I thought that all four of those days were right next to each other. I didn't know it was like those two days and then a week later. So I guess we're going to be... We, we won't be streaming um, weekend as usual. Um, the weekend after next. We just won't be streaming Wednesday this week. Um, probably. So I can like be prepared. Finishing that. I don't think there's much left to this one. That's good timing. Yeah. I was about to say, because, um... Well, I've been... God, this last case is a doozy. Like, I... To be honest, I've already kind of forgotten some of the stuff, but I know as soon as I start playing, I'll remember it. You don't know how to change color? Oh, you do that through, um... The settings in your chat, RC. Uh, if you go to the settings, you should be able to choose your color. It might only have certain set colors unless you're, like, Twitch Prime or something, but... Especially... Yeah, no, 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 you're fine. I know what you mean. But no, I just... Oh, God. Because I, I, yeah, I, I, I hadn't... Because I had known for a while I was going to be in the 12 Days of Indie, but then I forgot uh, exactly which days I was going to be in there. So I thought all four days were like one after the other, but I have a week in between uh, two of them. So it's going to be okay. So stream will actually be happening as usual this week other than Wednesday. Wednesday will be, uh, Wednesday will be an off day to make sure that I can... Uh, In which case, I might just, I might play, um, I might play something on Tuesday then instead. I don't know, we'll see. Like, I always, I'm sorry, I keep swapping stuff around, but that's just because, like, I don't always pay attention. Where, where the, where, oh. I was like, where the fuck are the last five points? Yeah, you can't. Oh, that's what I figured. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 <laughs> no! Okay, I, I was overconfident in my ability. Yes. Welcome back, RC. As green, at least it's green there. Okay, no, it's green on both. It's weird, because sometimes green on uh, Twitch is different than green on my chat bot, and I'm like, okay. Like, Chaotic Bot is showing up on my Twitch chat as, like, a light green, but on my uh, Streamlabs, it's showing up as purple. Phoenix Red is just one fat Yeah, that, I mean, it's pretty much like... You do not know the case until the final trial. That's that's 100% what it is. You get all this information to coax the truth out, but you never know the truth until it's like almost over. Can't wait for me to find out. Yeah, I mean, God. I'm excited, because I'm like, there is so much shit happening. That's up there, okay. Ha 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 ha. Oh, we got the coin, guys. That only took forever. Now I just need to go. Oh, that's the opposite side of this place. Are you kidding me? Whatever. Well, here we go. I mean, technically, I think it wanted me to follow this path all the way so that when I finished, I was like near the base of that, but I didn't do that. I don't play by the rules. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited for that. And I know, um, I already... Top of the printer. So she can sit there? But why would she want to sit on top of the printer? Is it warm? Warm on the printer? Oh. 
Yeah, cats. No, it's just high up. Oh, okay. Yeah, cats are. But yeah, um. Oh man. Just so you guys know, I already kind of promised. <laughs> I promised this to to Anna. So this is what we're gonna do next. Because I told her I was gonna play um. The freaking. Uh, what was I gonna play? Oh yeah, I was gonna play Valkyria Chronicles 4? Because I think I have it on my PS4? So once we finish up uh, Oracle of Seasons, I'm gonna try that next. Which is okay, because I mean, I really need to play new games too, or games that I haven't played before so I can have fresh experiences, but... There's good fun cat hair off of the, oh, out of the scan. Well. Maybe your cat just decided that um, your documents need more character. And by more character, I mean uh, little black scritchy marks that you get when you try to scan something and there's cat hair uh, in the way. Oh, it's not even plugged in. You have no spare plugs. I have too many plugs, to be honest. Like, I, I, I gotta go through my wire box again because I have a lot of wires that I probably don't ever need to use. Hair. Well, you have fairly long hair, don't you, RC? Like, I, I I have a couple of friends where when I go to their house, um, you we take our shoes off at the door at their place because they have, like, carpet everywhere except at the entryway. But I shit you not, if I, like, scoot my feet at their house, I will get, like, so much hair because they both have very long hair. And so the carpet just gets like a thin layer of hair, which sounds disgusting. I mean, I guess, I guess it kind of is, but I'm just so used to like it. I'm just like, eh, whatever. Like <laughs> in order to clean it, like they, they had to get a better, they had to get a better vacuum because they were like basically burning out the motor of their other vacuum because there's too much hair. English plugs, uh, American plugs, wait, Oh, because you guys have 240 volts, right? Or 220? Are we one? Two? It's 200 something. From running your fingers through it because you're at the. Oh no! Oh, that sucks. Yeah, thyroid issues are bad. Like, you know what? It's funny that you say that because um, I know Ellie has some issues too, and she. Yeah, like, her hair is very thin already, so she hates it. And, I mean, she has really pretty hair, but, I mean, it sucks, yeah, when it's, like, falling out, and you're just like, wow, this is ass. We have electrical safety features, too. Um, one of the plugs is slightly uh, bigger on one side, so you don't shove it in there wrong. Yeah. Y yeah. <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, I have your 40 star bits. Yeah. Don't worry, I got them right here. Yeah. Yeah. Delicious. I know. That's it. I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. And Sif, we can't. That's the thing about cats. If you tell cats not to do something, they're gonna do it 10 times worse while staring at you. So they would have their cat scanning its ass while staring deeply into their eyes. Yeah, more stars. How's it going, Andy? Welcome on in. How was your Halloween, by the way? Do they, do they do anything in Japan for Halloween? They seem to really like um, US holidays for some reason. I don't know why. US kind of sucks. Kind of, kind of suspect. Yeah, kind of. Is it another thing where they have like weird food? Because they also do that a lot. I might have fucked up. I know oh, I'm good. I'm good at puzzles. Star! 
<laughs> but slam. Pretty sure she's doing it because you wouldn't give her attention. Uh, yeah, yeah, see? Oh yeah, we don't have, well, certain plug things have doors here, but usually the ones that come in houses don't, because they like to cut corners. It's because cats are cute. Guys suck. Yeah, if you inside the plugs on my shirt will just blow the fuse in the device. Oh yeah, that's true. We have that issue a lot here, like the bathroom. For some reason, the way that this house is wired, the bathroom, like right over here, uh, my bathroom and the one I share with two other people, the, the plug in there is on the same circuit breaker as the backyard outlet and light. And for whatever reason, it just kind of randomly, like, it, it randomly pops, like, every few days. No matter what, there's no strain on it. Nothing's happening. It just, you, sometimes you just have to go in there and reset it in order to get the backyard outlets to work. Three cats here needing, and they never leave you alone? Well, it's okay, you just have to... Yes. Oh, you thought about getting new cats? Actually, no, that's terrible. Don't get new cats. Oh, uh, Cataquack. There's a secret here, guys. I gotta find the secret. I think I remember where the secret is in this one, though. Surprisingly enough. Because I don't think it's Luigi. You want more? Zunder said no. That sounds like laziness. Wait, what sounds like laziness? Just getting new cats? How do we know the earth's not flat? Because the cats would have knocked everything off of it by now. Ha ha! Sorry. I didn't mean to write a joke. Or, I guess, explain it. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I know, I saw you. I'm sorry. Well. Star. Damn, I forgot. This one is super easy. Bonk. Da, 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 da. Yes, it's complete. Need 1,000. Here we go. When's it bedtime? Wait, what do you mean when it's a bedtime? Are you asking when I'm finishing up? It's, it's, I'm stuffed. Here we go. Transform. Putting the outdoor lights on the same light. Yeah, it's. Oh, that. Yeah. The thing is, my roommate's dad. He's. He he took classes, so he has like his electrician's license and stuff like that. I don't know if he's the one who hooked it up like that, or if it was like that to begin with. It's kind of weird. I know he did hook up, like they have a little shed in the back that has electricity, so he had to reroute something, and maybe that's why? I, I don't know. It is kind of strange though. But RC, um, Dez starts up in 10 minutes um she usually she usually like 
runs music for 10 minutes before she starts. So I'm probably going to play at least 20 more minutes and get 100 stars and, and, and such. Electroom actually did a really good video on the difference between English and American setups. Oh, nice. That's what you... Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it, it's okay. You can go to bed soon. I mean, Zunder's probably more suited to answer that question. Zunder actually, like, lives with you, but... I don't know if you guys go to bed at the same time anyway. Like, it's it's kind of funny. There are some couples who can only go to sleep if they're, like, together. And then there's some couples where, like, they don't really care, like, when the other one sleeps as long as they don't, like, wake them up. Well, I mean, I, that's what you have to do. I'm sorry. That is your burden to bear, RC. You gave him the chair. Now you must live with the consequences of said chair. I mean, but at least he's happy, right? That's what that's what matters. His happiness, right? Wait. <laughs> oh, it's this one. Oh, it's this one, guys. Oh boy. Guys, it's this one. Okay. I'm already dead! <laughs> I did that wrong. Some people need a pitch. Well, I mean, there's that too, but I, I, I mean, like... What? <laughs> New record, I know. Okay, we're gonna wait for that hole to go away. Fuck <laughs> that hole. Man, it's like when you do this the correct way. Ah, fuck! It still is. I was doing so good! And you voted for it. And, well, yeah, I was about to say, like, I. Well, I don't know. Um. I don't know how much you and RC know about Higurashi. I know. I know RC likes horror stuff, but I also don't know if. RC's very into anime, but I would check out Higarashi. It's a very good horror thriller anime. Although, like I said, there's some upsetting parts in it. Holy shit! Ah! <laughs> ah! It's okay. Everything's fine. Man, I I used to be good at this. Okay, we got it this time. No jumpies, only runnies. Except for the parts where you have to jump. Let me get on that moon! Got it. But you're super picky. Like, have I got some suggestions for you? Like, an another really good one? Which is funny that I say another. It's called Another. It's a very good thriller one. Yeah. Very good. I would highly recommend that one as well. But yeah, Higurashi's, Higurashi's good. Ooh, to the kitchen! You still have to finish Psycho Pass. I never finished that either. I can't, is Psycho Pass the one with the guy with the camera? That like kills people or something? Sorry, I could be totally off the mark. I, I seem to remember watching something briefly, but that could not, that might be something other than. Wait, what's Corey? What, huh? First time you watched as an anime, including, not including Pokemon, it was that or FMA. Well, FMA, I think like everybody went through at some point. To be honest. Though the first time I watched uh, Full Metal Alchemist, I watched the old version, which I think... I can't remember if the old version followed the manga 
or didn't. But Brotherhood was the one that made a lot more sense. Like, there was just something about the pacing of um, the original anime. And then they were like, this is kind of weird, so I guess we're going to redo it or something. They probably didn't actually say that, but... Wait. Oh, Psychopaths? I don't know. Was it boring? I don't even know. Oh god, I need to I need to pull faster. Guys, I need more coin. Oh wait. Oh, see we're fine. God, why are you guys freaking out? Everyone's fine. Ah, I touched it! Ah! Did it! 360 no scope. I got all the things! What? <laughs> when they went off the rail. Okay, yeah, I was wondering, because it just seemed like the pacing was really weird. But okay. Well, I gotta, I gotta go fast, guys, so it's concentration time. I just remember Code Geass being weird because the guy like has mind control powers, but also not, and there's a naked lady at some point, I think. Like, and that's like a famous gif, like, she's in the shower and she answers the phone and then she remembers that she's like buck-ass naked and he's just kind of like, Whoa! I swear to God, if, if that's something else that I'm like misremembering, I just, if my memory is awful, I guess. Sorry, guys. Yeah, eh. trying to stay there. Takis, no! Takis are not for cats! <laughs> This is so hard! How am I supposed to get to this fucking star in three seconds? Ah! What the hell? What? What? This comet is terrible. Uh, please, Sif Cat, don't talkies. Talkies bad. Out. Well, I'm already dead. Yeah. Whoops, I died. Uh, power required for alchemy that came from the real world. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, well, that is half of anime. I mean, I, I think I already mentioned this. Um, the very first anime I really, like, watched when I started getting into anime was an anime called Girls Bravo. If you guys want to know what kind of anime Girls Bravo is, it is a um, harem anime. Um, and about 70% of the anime, um, I was looking at my TV going, why is she naked again? I still really like that anime. Like, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a fun one, albeit a little strange. But, um, yeah, that was a question that I, I, I had posed myself many times. Fucking ass titties! I hate this so fucking much! How did I do this before? This is such, like, a stringent fucking timer for this goddamn bull- Grab the fucking stars! Just kill me already! Holy shit! Ugh, fuck this place! Like, why does the timer keep going down even when I collect all the coins? Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, card capture Sakura is a good one. Like, and what I mean, I watched Trigun and, like, Cowboy Bebop and stuff when I was a kid because they were on TV. But uh, Girls Bravo was the first one I watched, like, by myself when I was, like, already an adult. And then I was like, damn, there's a lot of boobs in this. And then the next one I watched was something called uh, Sekirei, which 
is also very full of poop. You might notice a trend. I thought it looked cool, and then, yeah. And then there were boobs. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, boobs are cool. But sometimes I want, like, more than just boobs. I know, crazy, right? A guy wanting more than just boobs. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I think we got it. It was just called card capture. I believe so too, yeah. Yeah, I know. Card capture support is good. Like, we watched, um, like, Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, you know, the normal stuff that was on TV. Uh, Trigun and Cowboy Bebop and Fooly Kool-Aid showed up on, um, Adult Swim. And I fucking love Fooly Kool-Aid, even though it's weird as shit. It's very good. Even though the anime name, it, it's F-L-C-L, but it's pronounced Fooly Cooly, because that's what they say in the anime a lot. But, you know. Oh, there's something at the beach bowl. What is that? But yeah. It, the thing is, I haven't watched any new anime, or even just, like, stuff I haven't seen in a while, because I just don't make the time to do so. The most recent anime I watched, um, I watched the Dragon's Dogma anime with, uh, Ellie, and it was incredibly disappointing, because, like, it, it, it basically had nothing to do with Dragon's Dogma, other than the fact that there, there was a dragon at one point. Well, at a couple of points, but it, it was mostly just kind of like, hey, let's turn this into some weird action anime. And we're just like, oh, okay, whatever. Let's make this not actually what this was at all, but eh, it's fine. Like, if somebody read the instruction manual of Dragon's Dogma and then was like, we're going to make a whole anime about it. That's what it felt like. Devil and Cry Baby. I've heard that one's good. Very violent, but good. I can't remember if that's the one where he, like, rips off some chick's boob and then eats it. Maybe that's one of the older Devilmans. Oh, dude, I haven't done, like, anything here. Uh, spoilers. That happens in one of them. One of the Devilmans. I... But apparently he just eats everything. Like, people, whatever. Dreadnought's Colossal Cannons. Oh boy, I love cannons. But yeah, we're gonna get a couple more stars and then we will swap over. So you don't think that's a Netflix one? Okay. <laughs> I just need to remember that being a thing. and barking at me. They're little tiny barks. They're borks. Now they're dead. I killed them all. You like the fate stay? You know, I liked the original ones. The newer ones don't make any sense to me. Like the one where literally every character looks like they're like under 10 years old. But maybe that's just the spin-offs, like Prisma, Calais, or however the hell you say that. I just remember, like, looking at that and being like, what is this? What is going on? But I think I've watched Fate Stay Night, and I think I watched some of Fate Zero. But I haven't watched much more than that. I did enjoy what I saw. Although, in Fate Stay Night, I really hated the protagonist, because he was kind of... I don't know. He wasn't a very likable character to me. Yeah, I don't... You got me. I don't know. The one where alien... I don't even know Andy. I don't... I don't remember who that is. That's the problem. Oh, it's this. Oh, this is gonna be fun, guys. I'm not fantastic at this one. You haven't watched the newest one? Else? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I do... I know for a fact that Fate Zero happens before Fate Stay Night 
because Fate Stay Night is the guy's son, I think? And Fate Zero tells the story of the dad? Something like that? I could be completely off the mark, but I believe, ow, excuse me. I believe that's uh, the gist of it. Yeah, white hair low. Oh yeah, you're right. That's that's it. Yeah, I was very confused about that, Andy. That's I was like, what is this? Yeah, it's okay. There's probably a timeline of it on like Wikipedia or something that might be kind of useful. <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Get out of here. Oh, this is when. Oh, there's a lot of cannons and electricity, and there's just a whole lot of dangerous things. You can shoot these. Watch that. Okay, well, usually you could shoot these. Oh, yeah, no, I really need to catch up on Castlevania, to be honest. I mean, I've just, I, I've had a Netflix subscription for like a couple of months now. How many things have I watched on Netflix? Like three. I need to get better at that, so. Oh, yeah, um, Blood of Zeus or something. Des watched that and she said it was all right. Like, she didn't say it was bad, but she was like, it was okay. Because it's done by the same animators, I believe, but maybe a different story team. So, I don't know. But I mean, like I said, everybody likes different things. So it might be, it might be something that you're more into than she was. And it's, it's fairly short, I think, too, so you could probably finish it in, like, one night. You spend more time on Prime Video than you do. Well, that's the funny thing is I almost never use Prime Video, even though I've had Amazon Prime for a while because I tend to get quite a bit of stuff off of there and just the benefits on Twitch and, and all that, so. Same animation company? Not Yeah, exactly. Not sure about the story. But, yeah, she was like, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, like... It wasn't amazing, really. Like, I, I think basically the gist was, she was like, Castlevania was definitely more exciting or, or like better to her. But at the same time, like they did a really good job with that. So yeah. There we go. See, shoot it. Yeah, see this, I have to make sure I get every single purple coin along the way, because if I miss one, then, uh, that, then I'm dead. I'm just, I'm dead. Well, I'm not dead, but I won't get the coins, and then it will be pointless. And yes, they put coins on top of a swamp. They're jerks. But yeah, like I said, I need to catch up with uh, Castlevania. Uh -huh. God, the sideways ones are always throws me off. Hey, what's going on, Adventure Kid? No, no, get up. Get up, Mario. No time for slacking. Ah! <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it, right? Wait, did I miss one? I hope there's one up top. Ow, please stop. Where's the what? Did I miss one? 
<laughs> All right, have a good one, RC. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, okay, I think it's up there. The final one, okay, I was just like, where is it? Okay, they trolling. Well, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic night. Dun, dun. Wow, I did that in one go. Usually I'm really bad at that one. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Bonk. Save your game. We did it. We got over a hundred stars. Thank you once again, everybody, for being here. But yeah, we're we're gonna finish up for now. I know it's only been like a three-hour stream, but I got some other stuff that I want to do, and that way I still can finish this up later on in a timely manner. Like if I went long, I could definitely get the last seventeen stars. But, but no, thank you everybody for being here. Let me put the um, YouTube ending. Thank you so much for being here and for hanging out. We got to store 103. We only need 17 more and then we'll be good. It'll be great. 